combo everybody and before i get into it i just want to say go follow him on instagram and his youtube channel so he's been changing up his style recently and he's been going for this really desaturated orange and teal look and he used to be very vibrant with an orange and teal look and we're going to go over both styles but looking at his style there's pretty dark blacks minimal fade no grain and there's a bit of overexposure but let's get into it all right guys so we're going to make a lot in a style like this one this one this one and this one and this really desaturated look so we're going to start with this image and we're going to work with our image which is this one here and before we do anything we're just going to come over here come down and apply the Sam Calder mixed LUT that I made in the Sam Calder video. Bring up the exposure and bam it's perfect like I wouldn't even change anything for these two LUTs so that's straight away really really good so to go through what it looks like I took the blacks down I took the whites down a little kept the black uh, point down Move some of the greens and oranges, desaturated the greens mostly, some of the yellows, some of the blues, brought up the luminance of the yellows, did some split toning, put some blues in there, and I did some camera calibration. So that came out really good, that lot, so I'm just going to save that one. I'm just going to save it as matte como, so I don't get confused, because we're going to make a few of mats and I don't want to have to remember to always use Sam's LUT so I'm just going to call it matte combo and create so that's awesome that's already one down and I'm going to move on to our next image which is this one and they look pretty similar these two you could almost say yeah that's good enough as well but I'm going to our greens are looking a little green so I'm going to warm them up a little so I'm going to grab the green, bring them across, and now they're a bit more orange. And I think this has a bit more of an orange cast. And I'm going to come down to Luma and just increase the yellows a bit. As you can see what it's doing. Because this was taken a bit more in the middle of the day. So it's a bit more brighter and more vibrant. So that's brought up the yellows a bit. And I'm going to save this one too. I just save all the LUTs I make all the time because then I can just test them out really quick when I want to and then just delete them if they're not working. If they always don't work. So I'm going to call that one number two. And yeah, save that on. So that's already two down. And moving on to our next image, this is when things start to change. So we are going to stick with our same image and what we're going to do is apply another one of Sam's LUTs so Sam Calder green and this is when Sam does his desaturated green look but he does it really intensely and this one it's a bit more subtle so there's still some things to change so we're going to work our way down and just change it how we want it for Matt Como's look which is just a bit more reserved but most things can stay the same, so should be pretty speedy. Uh, orange is a bit. Maybe saturation can stay the same. Now luminance. You see how uh, our one's so bright, so Luminance plays a really big role. So I'm going to bring it back down to zero. Orange is I'm going to bring to zero. So we get a deeper orange before it's really bright. Down to zero. And greens, we want a bit deeper. Down to minus 60. And yeah, I think that looks really, really good. And that's it for that. That's it. So I'm gonna save this one. 
as Matt comma dsat. So that's our desaturated look and create. So we get the we get those real nice deep oranges that we have down here, almost a red. We get those desaturated greens that have a bit of a shine to them. And yeah, we're ready for our next image. And we're gonna do this one. So this is his real recent photos have been this real desaturated, metallic-y looking, really grey look. And we're gonna do it over here. So we are going to apply our latest LUT. Matte Como Desat and it's not looking too good so go change some things I'm just going to expose it right bring up contrast a little highlights it's very bright need to bring down the blacks really bring down the saturation and we want to come right down and get rid of this calibration come back up and work on these HSLs so most is staying the same just tweaking a few things Saturation, yellows, yellows can come up. And blues come down. And luminance, we want to bring the yellows up. Make the greens normal. And we want to, since a lot of stuff has a blue cast in it, if we lift the blues, it's going to really pop the whole image. So... Uh, and split toning so this is also very important bring it up a tad shadows we want to put a goldy red in there and really bring it up and that's going to help us get our skin tones and that nice subtle cast into the buildings and that there's a subtle cast of orange in the buildings and then we want to come down and do a vignette and I won't go too crazy on it right so before after after and I really really like that one so I'm gonna save this one as a lot D set 2 and create and on to our next image so where's our image beach shot so we're going to apply the one we just did and we need to expose so we bring it up quite a bit 
and already you can see that we're on the right track. So everything works much, much faster when you have a LUT and then you just go and tweak it, go and tweak it. And then you end up with a lot of LUTs that work really well. And then you can stay the same, you can stay the same. Split toning, we want to, we want to bring up those blues. And in the shadows, we'll bring it up a bit. We'll put it at 17. And I think that's it. The netting, we will get rid of the netting for this image. And we have a bit blown out here. Can't do much about that. We can darken it up. Could maybe brighten up your whites. The sky out here. Extra exposure. And just to top it off, you could up the warmth a bit. And yeah, I'm going to save this one as a lot as well. I'm going to call it beach. Because that will work. That will work in a lot of other occasions as well. But I'll call it that for now. So our before, I'll go through, show you before and after. And then we had... this look and we made our first map LUT, which was this one and then we went on to this one and we warmed it up a bit so that was our first one and then we warmed it up for this image a bit more orange in the greens and then we worked on having a desaturated image like that with the rich orange and reds and then we moved on to this look with that one and yeah and that's it guys so make sure to go follow them on instagram and youtube and thanks for watching make sure you comment down below who you guys want to see so i get a good idea leave a like and see you in the next one